Philip, what did the president have to say about uh, William Barr earlier? Well, he made this announcement uh, just as he was departing the White House uh, on the south lawn of the White House before leaving for Missouri for the day, officially announcing that he was nominating William Barr for the position of Attorney General. Uh, there has been an, an acting Attorney General in that role since early November when Jeff Sessions was pretty much forced to resign, was essentially fired uh, by the president from his position. Uh, now, William Barr, of course, interestingly enough, in the file footage that we've been seeing since his nomination just a few minutes ago, well, you see him with the former president, with the 41st president of the United States, George H.W. Bush, of whom, of course, we've seen a lot in file footage over the last uh, week uh, because of uh, him being buried only yesterday. Uh, William Burr was, in fact, the attorney general from 1991 to 1993, then went into uh, private business and now looks set to come back into that very coveted role uh, of attorney general. The president says that he was his number one choice from day one but that he hadn't heard about William Barr until he was looking at candidates for that precise job. Now, he, of course, uh, to be attorney general, you have to be confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Those can be tough sessions. They can be easy ones. This one is not going to be an easy one, despite the history as attorney general of William Barr, because simply he has seen, he's, he has seemed to have sided with the president at times in his criticism of the Russia investi investigation that is helmed by Robert Mueller, and that is under the umbrella and oversight of the Justice Department. In fact, William Barr in the past has advocated uh, investigating Hillary Clinton more uh, than this Russia investigation. All of this will lead to some very tough questions from Democrats, for sure, uh, when that uh, confirmation hearing does come along for William Barr. Now, Philip, moving on to the second appointment, Trump described now it as, quote, very talented and very smart. But of course, this is an immensely uh, controversial decision, isn't it? Well, it is because she doesn't have any foreign policy experience. It's as simple as that. Heather Nowart, uh, now nominated by the president for the role as U.S. ambassador to the United Nations to take over from Nikki Haley, who will leave at the end of the year. The former South Carolina uh, governor will have, le will have led that post at the United Nations for the U.S. for under two years. Heather Nowart's career path is an interesting one. Uh, she was a reporter with ABC News, but then was more than anything a Fox News anchor, uh, especially with Fox and Friends. That is the favorite morning news show for the U.S. president. Then she went on to become State Department spokeswoman for two secretaries of state, for Rex Tillerson, who only lasted in the job for under a year, and then Mike Pompeo, who is still there. She travels with Mike Pompeo, the secretary of state, but that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, foreign policy. She also, Heather Nowart, will have to go through a confirmation process in the Senate. That promises to be a tough one as well. The president uh, doesn't seem to have had any doubt about her nomination, though it did take longer than expected. It's been a while since Nikki Haley announced that she was leaving her post. It seems like the president sided with somebody he was impressed with while watching television.